A very good morning to you. It is Wednesday, the 22nd of April, the year 2020. And this is your friend, Angus Bucken, with a thought for the day. My grandchildren are starting to do their studies online. And from the smallest, who is five years old, who had to start off by doing star jumps, <laughs> to the oldest three who are studying online for their university degrees. And I know that many people at the moment are struggling with the new system that is beginning right around the world, whether it be business, whether it be learning. What about the sportsmen? How are they keeping fit? They are in lockdown, but the lockdown is going to lift and then they have to carry on. And a lot of people are stressing because they are feeling totally inadequate and quite lonely, actually. Well, I've got good news for you this morning. If we look at the Gospel of John, chapter 16, and verse 7, Jesus says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper, I want you to remember that word, the Helper, will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. Well, the Greek word for helper is parakletos. And who is the helper? Well, he is my best friend. And I hope that he'll be your best friend because I want to pray for you at the end of this thought. He is the Holy Spirit. He is all over at one time. Is that amazing? We talk about the coronavirus, but I want to tell you about something much more powerful and much more important. His name is the Holy Spirit. He can be sitting with me in my prayer room on the farm Shalom in KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa, and he can be sitting with you in the Rocky Mountains of the USA in your log cabin at the same time. Isn't that amazing? I want you to call upon him today and ask him to help you, to give you direction, to give you his peace, and to be a friend to you who sticks closer than any brother. Talk to him. How do you get to know somebody? By talking to each other. You say, but Uncle Angus, he doesn't talk back to me. Oh, he does. You must listen to that still, small voice deep within your heart. He's not there to condemn you, to judge you. He's there to help you and to look after you. That's why Jesus said, I have to go back to my father so that I can send the helper to you. Oh, my dear friend, over 40 years I've preached the gospel. And when I've been in my direst straits and I didn't know what to do, I called out to the Holy Spirit and he gave me direction. He said to me almost audibly in my heart, plant the seed. But Lord, there's no rain. Plant the seed. The rain is coming. I've done it not once, many times. And the rain has come and we've had a crop so that I can feed my family and go forward. Today, young man, young lady, you are confused. You are trying to get the hang of this online learning. Ask the Parakletos to help you and he will show you the way. Pray this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, today I ask that your Holy Spirit will be my friend and give me absolute direction. Amen. I'll speak to you again tomorrow morning. God bless you and have a wonderful day with your friend. Goodbye.